In this video, we will be doing an internal energy calculation. We know that the change in internal energy is equal to the sum of the heat and the work done by the system. Let's consider a problem. You might want to pause the video now and do the problem yourself first before continuing with the problem and seeing the solution to it. Jimmy wants the biggest balloon for his friend, Tommy's birthday. He bought a balloon from the convenience store, but its volume was only 4 liters. Therefore, he added 500 joules of heat, and the balloon expanded to 8 liters. What is the change in internal energy for this process? Assume the pressure is at 1 atm. Let's first consider what variables were given from the problem. First, we're given that the heat added to the system is 500 joules. We're also given the initial volume of the balloon, which is 4 liters, as well as the final volume of the balloon after the heat energy is added, which is 8 liters. The problem also states that the system is at 1 atmospheric pressure. From the equation, we know that delta E is equal to the heat plus the work done by the system. The problem gives us the Q, so all we must do is find the work done by the system. Work can be expressed in terms of pressure and volume by negative P delta V. That is, the negative pressure times the change in volume. The change in volume is just the final volume minus the initial volume, which in our case is simply 8 minus 4 equals 4 liters. The work done by the system is therefore equal to negative 1 times 4 equals negative 4 ATM times L. Next, let's convert ATM times liters into joules, which is the unit that we're given for the heat energy added to the system. The work, which is equal to negative 4 L ATM, can be converted into joules by multiplying by this conversion factor. This conversion factor can be figured out from the gas constant. Our result gives us 405.2 joules. Now that we have both the unknowns in our original equation, we can solve for the change in internal energy, which is equal to 500 minus 405.2 joules, which gives us 94.8 joules. Notice that the work done by the system is negative. This makes sense because the system is doing work on its surroundings.